In this demonstration, I want to show you how to use the if statement in Excel to to calculate the letter grade that a student would receive for his end of term grade. Now, it's not just the if statement. The if statement in and of itself is fairly straightforward. We have to use a nested if statement. Now, to begin, what we do is we always start with the equal sign and then if. And what we need to do here, notice the screen tip that comes up. It says the logical test. So logical test will always be something that's either going to be answered yes or no, true or false, something like that. So the logical test here has to be this grade and then what kind of evaluation do we want to give to that grade. So we take the value here of C3. So if the value of C3 and what we're going to say is that if it's greater than or equal to 90, so that's our logical test, and then notice the screen tip. The screen tip always tells us what we need to do. The screen tip says if, then the logical test, and then it shows a comma, a comma. So we'll stick a comma in the formula. So if the value of C3 is greater than or equal to 90, then then it says here, what do we want to do if it's true? Well, if it's true, I want to give it an A. I want to have an A recorded in that cell. And then comma. And now what do we want to do if the value is false? Uh, well, we only have two positions here, A and B. So we'll just simply say then it's not A. And then we have to use the closing parentheses because in all of our formulas and functions, we always have to have equal matching pair of opening and closing parentheses. Now we'll save that. And so we'll see here that the formula is telling us correctly that the value in C3 is not an A. And it does that because it looked at the formula that we typed it said if, and then the logical expression is the value of C3, is it greater than or equal to 90? If it is, then record an A, and if not, then record, then it's not an A. But you see, this is not real helpful because we need to also consider a, a grade for B, C, D, and F. All right, so what we need to do is come in here on this part of the equation. The first part of the formula here is all fine. But now on this side where we come to the value if false, Excel allows us here to, to do something else. We're going to actually here begin the if statement all over again. Now we never use the equal sign again to start because we already have that at the beginning. But so we're going to say here if, and then again we take the value of C3 is greater than are equal to 80 comma then let's use a B so you can see what we've done so far we kept our first part here if the value of C3 is greater than or equal to 90 then stick an A there comma the A is the value if true and here for the value if false we're saying well if it's not an A then let's just evaluate C3 again and how about maybe it's C3 greater than or equal to 80? Then give it a B, comma. But if that's not true, well, then let's just use another if statement. If then the value of C3 is greater than or equal to 70, comma, use a C, comma. And if that's not true, so the value of false here would be if the value of C3 is greater than or equal to 60, comma, put a D there, and then comma. Now the value if false, what do we do here? Because there's no other grade. We don't need another if statement because if it's not an A, it's not a B, it's not a C, not a D, then the only thing here for value of false is use an F. Now, what we have to do here, we're finished evaluating the five letter grades, but we need, now we need to close up these parentheses and see we have one, two, three, four opening parentheses. But you can't always count on counting the open parentheses in order to know that I have to type four closing parentheses here. The reason we can't 
count on this is that sometimes these formulas will get so long that they're off the the formula bar and you can't go back easily and count them so Excel helps us out here what it does is that when I enter a closing parentheses now the first closing parentheses I enter here will be the one that let's get this over just a little more the the first closing parentheses I type right here at the end of the F is going to match this opening parentheses now when I type this opening parentheses watch what happens here to this opening parentheses right here so here it goes I'm gonna hit the opening the closing parentheses and it caused this opening parentheses to flash bold for just a second now if I hit another closing parentheses watch what happens to this next parentheses it will also flash bold and then I do it again and that green one will flash bold and then I do it again and that last one flashes well so whenever you enter your parentheses just watch the opening parentheses sort of flash bold and when you get this last one to sort of flash bold on you here then you're done and so we'll accept this and that looks correct 87 should be a B if I fill this down then I have 46 is an F, 81 is a B, 55 is an F, 96 is an A. So this is the way that you build these nested if statements in order to use these nested if statements to calculate letter grades or the letter grade for a end of term grade.